the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated, so here is a new solution for the lab. So first of all, just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that, just me come back over here and now here just me search for the vertex here. Then just me open this thing new tab, you will get this kind of page. Now click on this workbench, you will get this kind of page. Okay, now just me click on this open Jupyter lab and once you click on that, you will get this kind of page. Okay. Now in the description box of this video, I will share on GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file. Okay. Now just me scroll down. You can see this download button. Just me click on this download button and the file will download to a local system. Now just me come back over here. Now here you can see this file called CLX Vertex AI. This one. So right click over here and then just me click on this delete button like this way and then click on this delete. So it's gone now. Just me wait. And it's gone now just me click on this upload and just simply upload the file which is just downloaded from my github one okay make sure that you have to upload the file which is just downloaded okay now click on this open and it's finally done now just me double click over here like this way now if you're using a jupyter notebook for the first time so for running a shell or we can say command you can just me click on this play button or you can just me hit shift and enter just make sure that your kernel must be python 3 and it should be ideal if it is busy or disconnecting that time you have to just me wait so now just me scroll down over here like this way and you can see this particular command so just me run this one now just me wait until this command show as ideal And it's ideal now. Now what you do, we have to restart our kernel. For that what you do, we have to just run this particular shell. This one only. So just run this and wait. And you will get this kind of pop-up. Click on this OK. And just wait until your kernel shows as ideal. So as you can see now your kernel state is showing ideal and it's stable. Okay. Now what you do, you have to just hit shift and enter till end. Like this way. Okay, now if you just check over here and from here you can see it's had to execute 23 cell and now our kernel status is busy. Now this thing is going to take at least 50 to 30 minutes. So make sure that your laptop will not go for a sleep. Otherwise your Jupyter notebook will be disconnected and because of that you might face an error. Now you can do one more thing. You can just open a new tab, search for the YouTube over here. Now here just search for the quick lab. Click over here. And now here just search for the TFX like this way. And you can see one hour long video over here. If you want, you can just play this video in your background so that your laptop is in ideal state and it's not go for a sleep. Now we have to just wait for at least 30 to 50 minutes and once it's done, we are done with this lab. So just wait. Now I'm going to fast forward all this waiting part.
and it's finally done. Now what you do, just simply come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task. You will get a score without any error. If the score is not updated immediately, don't worry. Just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure. So just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day guys.